Hi, my name is Jordan. So for my, um, my last research paper, I did um, how social media is detrimental to mental health. Um, this was really personal uh, topic for me just because of my experiences with social media. I've had social media since I was probably 12. Um, so this, like I said, this topic was really personal to me. Uh, I decided to do it just because, um, honestly, I didn't know if there was any articles online about social media and how it has negative impacts on your mental health because it's not really talked about in school, it's not talked about in households, or at least mine it wasn't. Um, so I found it to be really useful for my time-wise. Um, how I was able to look up like articles online and see video and re videos and research about it. Um, basically, it was a lot of the articles were just saying how social media is actually super, super bad for your mental health. And there's a bunch of evidence proven for it. I don't know it off the top of my head. And it was just basically saying that social media damages your emotional well being, it can leave you with long lasting, you know, emotional, mental scars because of cyberbullying. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, self comparison with other people and how social media is just social media is a lie. It is false advertising. It's the biggest scam I could I can think of right now. People only post online what what is glorious, what's great about them. You're not gonna see people post, you know, the crappy stuff we go through, the inconveniences, because who wants to share that? Who wants to? I don't know. Uh, let people in on that but I think that would actually be helpful um in the long run even though it's kind of uncomfortable I think it would actually be helpful if people were just honest about the inconveniences the spilt coffee moments we go through in our everyday lives because it forms a sort of community between everyone you know it makes people or at least it makes me when I see people you know I guess are honest I guess uh, about the crappy stuff we go through every day it makes me feel not so alone. It doesn't make me feel singled out, isolated from other people. Like I'm the one who's a fail. I, my life is a failure, and that my life is so much worse than everyone else's because they're over here posting about the new car they got, the whatever, the new boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, all the positive things. So I think that social media wouldn't be this horrible thing if we didn't make it like, um, I don't know, like this glorified app. Sorry for my stuttering, by the way. Um, but I don't know, we put so much emphasis behind social media. And then it's like, when we do go on social media, it makes us feel crappy because we see all of this, you know, scams, these lies people are putting out because that's the only thing we've known. That's the only thing we're supposed to post on social media. That's the only thing that's normalized in social media. So basically, that's what my paper is about. Uh, it's more, <laughs> or at least I hope it's more clear and concise through my uh, evidence and such. But that's basically the gist of it. So.